So if you could design our, I mean, your kid, what would it look like? Well, it should definitely have my eyes, your, the mother's hair, and my sense of humor. Oh God, no. Yes. No. Yes. Nope, Vito. Admit that I am hilarious. Never. Hi there guys, I'm Julian. I'm Julia, here for DNews. The idea of designing people used to be the realm of science fiction, and now we're closer than ever with the invention of new techniques. But some scientists are worried. Some are even calling for a worldwide moratorium on the practice until its effects are better known. Yeah, in a comment published in the journal Nature, scientists from the Alliance for Regenerative Medicine called some of the research, quote, dangerous and ethically unacceptable. So, how do you edit DNA? Well, genome editing is the targeted genome cleavage by engineered sequence-specific zinc figure nucleases followed by gene modification during subsequent repair. Oh, okay, so uh, basically, a DNA cutting enzyme called a nuclease can be put into a cell that breaks the DNA at a specific place and takes out the faulty or unwanted gene. The DNA can use a synthetic sequence that replaces the faulty one as the strands are put back together. Hmm, not a bad summary. Hmm. There are a couple of techniques that do this, but the most recent is called CRISPR, which makes it easier to target specific genes. Genes are long. I mean, single genes might be up to a thousand base pairs long. Previous types of editing could only target a few base pairs at a time. CRISPR uses RNA to guide the nucleases and can target a lot more base pairs. This technique could have huge benefits for humanity. Ah, right. This kind of editing is already being studied as a treatment for HIV. Cutting out the bit of DNA in a cell that lets the deadly virus in and replacing it with something else could cure people of the disease. And other studies show it could potentially eliminate mitochondrial diseases. Yeah, so it all sounds great. So why are scientists getting so freaked out about it? Well, there's a fear of designer babies. For example, Julian could change the length of a kid's finger or make sure they have the same beautiful blue eyes. Yep, and a tail. No. But the process isn't an exact science yet. The editing could wind up affecting other genes in other places in the DNA that it wasn't meant for. The comment in Nature raised the possibility that, quote, the precise effects of genetic modification to an embryo may be impossible to know until after birth. Yeah, so this big problem is when you aren't just editing the genome of one person. In a process called germline modification, researchers could edit the DNA in embryos or sperm and egg cells, and those changes could be passed on for generations. We have no idea what what those changes could do in, say, 10, 20, 100 generations from now. These fears have led to most countries banning germline editing, but it seems research is heading that way anyways. In February 2014, researchers from China created live monkeys using the CRISPR technique. Yeah, and there are some concerns that genomic editing is almost too simple. It would be pretty easy to edit embryos in sketchy fertility clinics in countries that don't have such strict laws. But man, the therapeutic benefits, though. Man, the ethics, though. Seems like more debate and more research is needed. Let's just stick to the old fashioned way of making babies for now. But the tail, baby no. J could hold three things at once. Think of the multitasking. Nope, vetoed. Well, what do you think? Would you design your kid? Let us know in the comments below. And while you're at it, hit those like and subscribe buttons and keep coming back here. We've got new episodes every day of the week. Tail, tail, nope. tail, nope.